The first guy was a, a young man in his 20s who had been paralyzed from the neck down uh, due to a knife wound from a, like a bar fight. So he hadn't moved in many, many years, but they put that electrode array in the motor cortex, the part of the brain that normally sends commands to the arm. And when he tried to move his arm, lo and behold, those neurons fired away. And just as a quick reminder to everybody, the brain is saying, okay, I want you to make these movements. And then those shoot down, down the spinal cord and out to the peripheral nervous system and move the muscles. And so in this case, you're hearing the original command, but there's some break in the roadway plunging down the spinal cord and out such that the body never gets the signals correctly. Exactly. We're bypassing the injury. We're going to the source. So where's the command coming from? Researchers are able to listen to what the neurons are intending. And then the field has really taken off since then in the past two decades. Uh, for example, with motor movement, originally it was just on a computer screen. You could move a cursor around. But nowadays people are thinking about, hey, could you actually use an exoskeleton to move the, the arm physically? Yeah, or even stimulate those paralyzed muscles. So there's these functional electrical stimulation systems or epidural like spinal stimulation, both for walking and for the arm. So you can really close the loop. You can decode what movement the person's trying to make. Oh, they're trying to move their arm forward to grab something. And then you can have that move a robotic arm 